Hi guys, I'm Autumn Beckman and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. One of you suggested since I'm out of fingers, I have 10, not 12 now, to have Paul jump in with a couple fingers or have the dogs jump in, which is a fabulous idea. But I just bothered Paul for about an hour to film something that you'll see in another video later, I think this week. So I don't wanna go grab him again. Maybe he'll surprise you some other time though. We will see. <laughs> Look at these babies sleeping in my chair. There's Baron, and there's Roxy, all cuddled under the blanket. No place for me to sit, but I'm not important around here. I'm just the cookie distribution person. That's right, you know it. Thank you so much for all the reactions, the advice about ear piercing, the ear piercing guns versus the needle. Quite a few of you explained the needle a lot better to me. I understand it better now. I appreciate it. I do need to watch some YouTube videos showing the process so I understand it even more. It sounds much less scary now, and that does sound like the best way to go based on what you guys have been saying. So thank you, thank you. I appreciate all the information. I have quite a few things in store for you with Vlogmas this week. First, we will start a series no, we won't. This starts tomorrow because I'm filming this on Sunday, but you're seeing it on Monday. But on Monday, my Secret Santa at work starts, so I'll be filming what I received from them, and you won't see that till Tuesday because of the time difference here. The Vlogmas time warp. We addressed that last year, did we not? It's all coming back to me. And at the end of the week, after the Secret Santas are revealed at work, I'll show you what I got for my Secret Santa, or the person for whom I was their Secret Santa. This is Baron over here. The thing moving in the corner. Don't know where Roxy is. She's missing again tonight. She missed the advent calendars last night. She was just in here for what we were doing. Okay, I'll tell you. It was an international holiday treats tasting box. She was definitely here for that, but she's missing right now. So she may miss her cookie again. Baron is making a nest in my blanket. Why don't I just cover you up? Is that better? It's not better, apparently. He's still rummaging around. You want to say hi? Come here. There he is. Hi guys. This is Baron. He's my favorite dog. He's very sweet. You're a good boy, huh? Why don't you get in your little nest over there? Lay down. Also, I had a vlog sale back in November, and the week before Thanksgiving, I shut the store down because I knew I was about to be out of town for a week, so I couldn't fulfill orders during that time. I wanna let you know the shop is back open now, so if you wanna go check it out, if there's anything you had been thinking about, or anything that maybe you haven't been to the shop yet and you wanna go look and see what's available, maybe you see something you wanna get for the holidays. It is there, it'll be linked below. It's autumnbeckman.com, and you click the shop tab. He's still not settled. So yeah, the ear piercing. Right now I'm leaning toward doing it, but I'd like to do it at Majuri and their piercing studio is not open yet since they are new. Did you guys see Dale's Addictions day 11 of her Grinchmas? It was very Grinchy because she got a very mean comment, basically telling her that she's overweight and needs to go to the gym. Now I did a whole video about this. I can link it below about my biggest insecurity. I think that's what I called it. And it was all about weight issues I've had my whole life and how it's not as simple as just going to the gym or eating well. It's not all about diet and exercise. There are lots of other factors. We are human. There's a lot of psychology behind it that the people who make those kinds of ignorant comments apparently don't consider. And of course, the people who make those comments and judgments, all that is just coming from their own insecurities about their appearance. It's really not about Dale. When I get comments, it's like that. It's not about me. It's all about that other person. But Dale addressed that in her video. She addressed it in the next day's video and she did a live video that you can go watch. It's about an hour long, but she has a really nice conversation with a lot of the subscribers that are commenting on the side there. The reason I want to bring this up is because so many of us deal with this. No matter your age, no matter your gender, no matter your weight, you can be thin and still deal with these issues and still have those insecurities. So if you do, or you know someone who does and you'd like to hear an intelligent conversation about the topic, I would encourage you to go watch her video. You may want to start with the day 11 so you can see the mean comment and her reaction to it, but then I would say watch the live video. That's where the real deep conversation happens and it was really good. And can I just say it also kind of pisses me off when people say that ignorant stuff to friends of mine, particularly when it's not true, because Dale is gorgeous, she's stunning, she's a babe, she did not deserve that directed at her. Nor does that person or any other people 
who make those comments have the right to make those comments. And you know, I do those mean comment videos from time to time where I respond to mean comments that I get. And the whole purpose of those, as I explain, is to help other people who get those comments. Because if you're on social media, you get mean comments. But it's to help other people deal with those comments better, hopefully. So it doesn't sting as much when you suddenly, out of the blue, have that directed at you. Some people say that it's like you have to have a thick skin with that sort of thing, and I don't like that because that puts the burden on the person receiving the comment rather than on the person giving the comment. That's almost like saying, it's like a victim blaming. It's like, if you're upset by it, it's your fault, not the fault of the person who leaves the comment. It's like if some guy assaults a woman, some people say it's her fault for dressing that way, like she asked for it. People say that we ask for this stuff or open ourselves up to it because we put ourselves on social media, and that is absolute nonsense. Nonsense. No one invites that kind of behavior. No one deserves that kind of behavior directed at them. It's not our responsibility for that not to happen. We're allowed to be on social media and we have the right to be on social media and be treated well. We have the right to exist just like everyone has the right to exist and be treated well. It's the responsibility of the people leaving those comments to not leave them. So I don't like that phrase having thick skin. I think of it more and this is what I try to get across in the mean comment videos, is learning to see those comments for what they are, that it has nothing to do with you. It is all about the other person and their issues. Well, I'm taking you back to Oregon today. This time we're going to Lincoln City, heading south from Cannon Beach. And Lincoln City is where we spent Thanksgiving, so you'll see our Thanksgiving, which was very different this year but also very special. And at the time I'm filming this, I have not edited it yet, so I don't know how well this came out on camera, but we happened to be there for the King Tides in November, which are a higher tide that not only are the waves bigger, but it goes up on shore farther. And they were very, very impressive, let me tell you. And we had a front row seat for it in a few different places where we were. So I hope you enjoy. We just checked in in Lincoln City. We're staying at the Coho Lodge. It's right on the water. So let me show you the room real quick. I got a king suite with this kitchenette because we're gonna be here over Thanksgiving. I know that's not very vlogmasy, but it is what it is. Here's the bathroom. Big walk-in shower. Those are kind of weird. I always splash water all over the floor. We'll see what happens. And front door, bathroom door, kitchenette, bed, and here is the little desk TV area. And this is the reason we're here. You can see it already. Check it out. Oh my gosh. I got a room with, oops, there's a screen there. I can't get through. Here we go. I got a room with a balcony that has these chairs and heater, air conditioner, I don't know. And then, oh my God, look, we got here at the perfect time for the sunset. Is this not spectacular? Oh, how beautiful. This is going to be a nice Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is tomorrow and they have these little fire pits and places to sit out here. And Paul is somewhere around here taking pictures of the sunset. I don't know where he is, we'll find him eventually. I need to go take some pictures myself, but I wanted to share that with you. Isn't it beautiful? How lucky are we to be here for Thanksgiving? OMG, look what I just spotted. Not the children. It's a doggo. There's a dog here. It looks like there's some tide pool activity. Also, they're supposed to have something this weekend called King Tides, which means the tides are bigger and they go up farther on shore. So we'll get to watch those from our little balcony. This is my pool boy. How can I help you, ma'am? <laughs> this is the back of the hotel. You can see right through there. I work for Big Tips. Big Tips? You can see the ocean. This is our room right here. This is our rental car, Jeep Compass. We have not been happy with it uh, for various reasons. And this is just a little spin of this area in Lincoln City. The architecture here is pretty. And the sky right now with that sunset, we gotta, why are we even putting our, dealing with bags right now? We should just be sitting on the balcony and looking, looking at things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We already have this out, we have to go up, so let's do that real quick. Oh, you know what he is? He's not my pool boy. He's my, my groom, like on the Louis Vuitton, the guy with the luggage. He's my groom. They call it the groom. My bellhop. That's what you are. Bigger tips. 
well, you get to, you get my, the pleasure of my presence every day. So that's your tip. Wow. Boy, we lucked out. Yeah. Got here just in time. Thanksgiving Day and we are down at Otter Rock in Devil's Punch Bowl. They're kind of in the same place. We are watching the waves. There's some king tides coming in, which are just bigger waves that make a higher tide. So we're watching those splash against the rocks. It's very cool. Oh, wow. There you go. There's a wave coming. Wow, look at that thing, that's big. It's almost as tall as the rocks, good mm -hmm. lord. Come on, give us a splash. Ooh, there we go. Made a rainbow. Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna try to make out what is on top of these rocks in the corner here. Are those birds? Let's zoom, zoom, zoom and check it out. I can't even see. I'm gonna have to look in editing. Yeah, that's a bird. I just saw it. Here's the coast. When I did my Oregon vlog over the summer, and I'll have that linked below. Oh, look, a dog. Um, just past this restaurant, there's a winery, and it looks, it has this little backyard area, and it looks out over this beach, and it's so beautiful. I could definitely live in this neighborhood and be out here every day. That's doable. I have to show you the other side here too. We're on a little bit of a peninsula and there's a beautiful beach on either side of us. The spectacular views of the rolling coastline and the spray and it's just gorgeous everywhere you look. I've found more birds. They are way too far away from me but to be able to tell what they are, but let's zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, splashy splash. And see if we can tell what any of those are. I have no idea from here. Whoa. The water is so pretty going over this rock. Look at that. It's beautiful. How could you come here and not want to move here immediately? Okay, here comes a big wave. This is, we're gonna get a splash here. For sure. Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. That made a rainbow too. Ooh, the birds got splashed. Figured that would happen. Ooh, here comes another big one. These waves are glorious. Wow. You can see this is a beautiful little beach. And can you tell there are surfers down there? I should give you a little bit better lay of the land here. The edge of the point, I don't know what to call it, that we're on, the cliff, is over here. That's where Devil's Punch Bowl is. And then I was standing over here shooting that beach with all the crashy rocks, crashy waves on the rocks. And then there's that blue building that I said right on the other side is the winery. That's that building. That's a seafood place. This is like a surf shop. If you pan around, there's a little park here. And it's just every edge you can see over and see spectacular views. And this, someday someone is going to come here and they're going to think that's some kind of alien created sculptural thing that has some real significance. When in fact, it's just the base of a picnic table, as you can see. When I took this picture before, yeah, right down there at the bottom of that cliff, it was all sand. And there yeah. were these two people having like a picnic there. I remember that. Yeah. That was back in June. The tide was a lot lower in June. That's how it works, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, in this red building, the surf shop, in the window, 
Over there, we just saw a guy. And I went to Paul and I was like, how do I get his life? How do I live here? Do I have to own a surf shop? And then we walked over here and there's this sign. It says cliffsidegetaway.com. So you can rent the place. We're gonna have to do that next time we're here. We've just decided we're spending every Thanksgiving here from now on. It is too beautiful and wonderful. We're shooting into the sun, but we are at Cape Foul Weather. And this area right here is where we just were at the Devil's Punch Bowl. That is where all the splashes were. And we were standing right there looking onto that beach. This is my seafarer friend. I picked him up on the side of the road. Hard matey. Now we're at a place, I think it's called Rocky Creek, just up the road from Devil's Punch Bowl. We're getting lots of great wave crashes here. So we're gonna watch this for a bit. Since it's Vlogmas, let's just pretend this is snow. Apparently there's a whale in here. I just saw it a second ago and the people next to me may be able to hear us screaming about it. Oh, here comes a big crash. Oh, how nice. Gorgeous. I can't even tell if my camera's in focus because I can't see the... I didn't think to bring my viewer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could look at this every day. Wow, I want to catch... I want to catch one of those things rolling over on the set. Catch what? Out there there was a wave that was just rolling over and it was all blue. Yeah. Translucent. You get those right uh -huh. here. Yeah, but I mm -hmm. wanted to get those rocks over there. Thanksgiving dinner from this place called Maxwell's in Lincoln City. We're back at the hotel. We're about to have our Thanksgiving meal, which I know must be weird since you're watching Vlogmas. Apologies again, but this is so much more interesting than my daily life. Oh my God, you cannot tell how big these waves are. I, I mean, I don't even know how to estimate how many feet I'm high say, they are. I'm say they're 10 feet high. They've gotta be at least 10 feet high, like the big one that just broke in the back there. Some of you have seen much bigger waves. I have not. We don't get things like this in Galveston Bay because that's not the ocean. These are just spectacular. We're blown away here. Paul is speaking of uh, blowing things away. He's about to open the champagne to go with our uh, Thanksgiving meal. So here we go. Here we go. Someday. <laughs> I'm trying not to spill it all into the Pacific Ocean. Okay. I wanted to go down our gullets. Is it budging at least? Yes. Okay, good. You ready? Yeah. Wow. That was just like as spectacular as the waves. That's perfect. Man. That's the way to open a bottle of champagne. Okay. You need a plate. Like you can't eat out of the styrofoam on Thanksgiving, Paul. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm from Texas. Have more pride in yourself. I was going to eat the styrofoam along with it. Oh, I see. Okay. It's time for him to go to a home. Okay, this is the Thanksgiving meal from Maxwell's. We have some white meat turkey and dark meat turkey. We have mashed potatoes and gravy. Could you please not make so much noise? I'm trying to vlog here. There are two, count them, two slices of yams and some corn. We also have some rolls over here that still need to be warmed up, a little cranberry sauce and butter. And in here, the tiniest pieces of pumpkin pie that we've ever seen in our lives. They're very sad, but we are not, we're happy. Um, 
very happy to be here on the coast of Oregon for Thanksgiving. How about you? Oh man, I don't know. I don't have a word for it. It's I don't have a word for it. I'm speechless. This is our view for Thanksgiving dinner. We've got our food on our laps and our glasses. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Can't see you at all, but that's all right. And to those watching, happy Vlogmas. Yes. Cheers again. Happy Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas. We're leaving the coast this morning, unfortunately. I had to give you a peek at the ocean right now, how gray it is, it's beautiful. Yeah, I guess you don't usually hear that, a gray ocean is beautiful, but these big waves are closer than they were yesterday. Some doggies down on the beach. And there's a very strong wind, it's supposed to be cold today coldest day we've had here so far. It's supposed to be in the 50s. I mean, it's supposed to be in the 40s. It's been in the 50s all week. Here's a little pan for you. Of the beautiful ocean, just spectacular. I was supposed to be panning and I had to stop for the waves. Beautiful. And then those little tree-covered mountains in the background. So pretty. I hate to leave the coast, but that's why we plan to move here. So we don't have to leave it, at least very often. Here we are. I'll leave you with some doggies on the beach. How about that? It's time for advent calendars. I'm gonna try to go through this quickly. Oh look, I left the doors open again. Number 12 on the Tony's calendar is here. Those are a little hard to press and get open, by the way. Okay, this is what I was expecting. Remember when I looked at day nine, I said something, you won't remember that, but I knew that there was going to be one box that was empty and did not have a chocolate. So now we've come across it. It says, no tiny here, but hey, don't eat the messenger. Want to know why this window is empty? Look at number 12 on the other page. One thing I have not gone over with you is that there is another side of this calendar. You may have noticed, but no one has mentioned it to me. It is right here and it says a bunch of stuff. And the reason I haven't gone over it is because last year we did a calendar that was acts of kindness. That was a lot of talking and it was just a lot. So what does this say? Not much to find in there, huh? Bummer. The chocolate industry is unequally divided, so our calendar is too. Scan the QR code and we'll explain why there's no tiny Tony in here. Now that, that bothers me a little because they said look over here for the answer and now this is sending me somewhere else. What is this? Customer service? And I believe the jewelry calendar we start tomorrow. I'm excited. What's in here? Come on. Well, we know it's chocolate and we know it's going to be difficult to get out. Oh. oh gosh, it's so melty and then it gets under my fingernails. I'm just really annoyed that these don't fit in here better. Oh, I don't even want to bother with it. Maybe that's a little grinchy of me. I think Dale's vlogmas is rubbing off on me a little bit. I just don't feel like getting my hands all covered in chocolate. For a piece of chocolate, I'm just going to take a bite out of and put in the bag. So we're going to skip that one. There's chocolate in there though, you saw that. Now Roxy is still missing, but we do have a Baron. Very cozy over there, but not cozy for long because here come the cookies. Door number 12 is right here, Baron. Let's get that open. Pop. And it's lots of these little ones, the little bones. Three of them. So there's one for you. One for your sister, another one for you. Open the second door, pop. Retrieve one, two, three more cookies. Two for your sister, and there's your third one. Do you enjoy it? Not enough, huh? And box number 12 for Vincent. There's Vincent, you being very fluffy. Very fluffy today, Vincent. Would you like your box? Yes, I shall put it on your shelf. 
right there. And we can watch you look at it. All right, that was exciting. Roxy, you want your cookies? Come on. Come on. Good girl. There's one cookie. Back up a little. Two cookies. And three cookies. Good job. You did it. You got your cookies. <laughs>